Okay goodies, let's make some Jamaican sorrow, but we're going to make it keto and diabetic friendly. Honestly, I'm usually willing to risk it all every year around this time to drink this drink because I love it so much, but it also has many health benefits that we don't have to risk it all when drinking this drink. We can just make it a slightly different and gain health benefits such as boosting our immune system, helping prevent cold and flu, aiding in weight loss, uh, cholesterol reduction, and blood pressure management, and so many others such as digestion and antioxidant benefits so let's go ahead and clean our sorrow that's our first step in making this drink and I'm just going to put it in a strainer so that as I add the water to rinse off some of the dirt that may be on it when um, sourcing it that we just get it clean I'm just showing here the bag that I got from Amazon I ordered mine from Amazon but you can buy it at your local market or um, Chinese grocer they they sell it sometimes wherever you can find it but I'm going to link this one below because this is what I got from Amazon for a fairly decent price so here I am rinsing off my sorrel just to make sure that again there's no um, extra dirt or any you know anything that you don't want in your drink on your sorrel leaves so I'm just going to do like a rough rinse and then we'll go on to our next step to fill our pot with some water and bring it to a boil this pot can hold about two gallons of water I believe and we're using about a pound of sorrel I'm using the entire bag that I ordered from Amazon so I'm going to let it fill I'm gonna leave about four inches of space between where the water stops and the rim because we have other ingredients that we want to add to the pot without it overflowing so we're going to turn our fire on and let this come to a boil and while our water is boiling we're going to go and prepare our ginger and I have our ginger soaking in baking soda and water just to again remove any dirt and impurities and now we're going to rinse that all off and make sure the ginger is very clean because I will not be removing the skin because we want all of the uh, benefits and the taste of the ginger we want all the health benefits and the strong taste I like my sorrow with a kick I like it very strong I don't like smooth sorrow I like it very strong. I like my sorrow to make me think over my life's decisions. That, that, that's how strong I want the kick to be. So I'm using all of this sorrow and we're going to emulsify this sorrow just to make sure that we're getting the full strength of the health benefits and the taste. So I added here I think about a cup of water just to help this uh, uh, ginger blend, blend down and you don't be like me like cut up your ginger I feel like because I have a high powered blender that I could do anything but no cut cut your ginger up and it will blend so much better so I blended it up here and you know just make it come to um, a thick consistency it doesn't have to be like water and then we're going to add this to our boiling water now we see our water has bubbles so it's starting to boil but before we add our ginger we're going to add a couple sticks of cinnamon and some allspice this will also help with the flavor of our sorrel the traditional flavor and then we're going to go ahead and add our liquid ginger now this is going to give the sorrel an amazing taste if you do not like your sorrel with a kick like how I like it use less ginger if this is gonna be your first time making it use less ginger but I like it with a kick my family likes it strong so that's why I use the amount of ginger I did and ginger is really healthy for you so with the season that we're in, you might want to just keep that amount of ginger. But again, if you don't like ginger, just slow it down on that portion. So now we're going to add our washed sorrel to our pot of boiling ginger water. And then we're going to make sure that all of them get in without spilling. So I'm just going to use my spoon instead of, you know, shaking it in so we don't make a mess. And I'm just going to spoon it in slowly and then we'll go on to our next step.
Now that all of our sour has been incorporated into the hot ginger water with all of the spices, we're going to go ahead and let this sit for about two days. The longer it sits, the more potent the taste and the health benefits because you're getting more out of it. Then I use a cheesecloth here and I put it on top of a strainer for a double straining method. And then the, the sour that has been sitting, I now strain it out into a bowl. I do mine in portions because I'm going to be making several jars for myself and my family. If you have not received a jar of sour from your Jamaican friend, they probably don't like you. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But when we make these, we usually make it in, in big batches because we're going to be making several jars of it. So you see, See here that rich color this is just for two days if I strained it for an additional day the color would have been even more rich and I love seeing that rich color I don't like see through sorrow I don't believe in that so now I'm gonna go ahead and strain all of the contents of this pot and I will do it in batches for the amount of jars I'm going to make for my family members that aren't health or sugar conscious, I would then sweeten the sorrow after the two days and then add them to jars. But I left my jar without sugar and then I added the contents of my, I keep saying jar, my bottle to a glass of ice. And now I'm going to sweeten my sorrow with some skinny syrup. But you can use sucralose, allulose, stevia. There are so many keto friendly options. I will link them below if you want to try them. And I promise you with this particular sweetener, it tastes exactly Exactly like traditional Jamaican sorrow the sweetness everything is intact so if you have been risking it all as I have in the past years to drink Jamaican sorrow you can now make it diabetic and keto friendly and you don't have to knock yourself out of ketosis so that's my Jamaican sorrow recipe that is keto friendly I made it especially for the goodie crew if you like this recipe please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do that and thanks again for being here I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye